Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa, where I actually just put our, uh, I, I just put our house on the uh, French throne. I'm sure they'll be okay with that. I also want to improve relations with Bilu Zero if we can any further. How close can we get them to being annexed? They're currently at plus 200, so we would need to be able to get them at plus 87. That would be awful close, especially considering we're already royal married. I mean, we could, in theory, improve relations up far enough to get them to about 150. And then with subsidies, about 168. And then influence nation. We could do this, actually. So we're going to get that, pro that process started. And... We are going to start annexing them ASAP. I also want to consider our war against Inca. I, I do want this to happen. These guys over here, they're they're so pathetic. <laughs> they're so, so pathetic. <sighs> they need to reform their religion. They should have done it a long time ago. Poor, poor guys. Okay. Our merchants were assassinated. We kind of don't care. We're going to wait just a little while here because we do have dangerously high overextension right now. So that, that is definitely something we need to be a little bit concerned about. And we want to then send a gift to these guys. How much do they want to get 25 opinion? 375? Expensive. We don't care though. So that gets us up to 153. And now we can get ourselves an advisor slot. National manpower? <laughs> like, we need that. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, that's a conversion happening. Wonderful. We'll get Akershus next. Okay. What else can we get here? We can give them subsidies, and so we shall. We'll give them, say... Plus 15 per year. We'll give them plus 30 per year. So that's 80 gold, 32. Close enough. Wonderful. What was the other one that I was thinking? I was thinking that we had another plus 25 option available. Uh, designate March, improve relations. I guess I was thinking intervene or influence nation. Interesting. Well, regardless, they're going to be gaining plus 3.4 potentially per year here. We'll just improve relations with them for now, and we will start working on our Inca war. So realistically, they're allied with Maya. We kind of do want to co-belligerent Maya, because Maya is, of course, allied with Terrasan, these guys. And that's hilarious. So, yeah, I think we just want to Imperialism CB Inca here. And we will co-belligerent Maya. And we will declare. So the first Colonial's mission is going to be to attack Maya. And the second colonial over here, well, they're going to come down over this way. We do need to be a little bit concerned about the sheer number of troops that Inca has. But once Maya gets taken out of the picture, we shouldn't really have an issue there. We can convert a province, and so we shall. Wonderful. We can have up to 909,000 manpower. We may want to consider raising a third colonial army. And actually, yeah, I'm going to. We'll get that started. We're going to maintain that diplomat. So we're currently at plus 178 with Bilu Zero. So we need plus 12 more. It seems like that should be super easy to do. Unfortunately, it may not be. That was a rebellion in Krakow. How rude. Well, we have forts over here anyway. We're going to get rid of this fort. 
We're going to keep this one for now to prevent the separatism. Polish revolutionaries. There's a Polish revolution? Okay. <laughs> That's cute. So our primary mission over here, of course, is to invade Maya. And then we're going to turn our attention on Inca after. Along on this cannon unit. A little while. Okay, in we go. We do expect Inca to make some inroads over here. That is 100% expected. We won the Battle of Krakow, and we need to start pushing up Maya's territory over here. We'll just base that fleet real quick. And we're going to get rid of this fort. That's not necessary. Mongol Separatists over here, huh? We don't need this fort either. Get rid of that one. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our cannons recruited in. This should be, what, 15? Yep, 15. And then we'll get 36 infantry and 4 cavalry. We'll get that all recruited up nice and quickly. Some of them might get taken out by this force. We don't care. We're hoping to pull their force down over this way with this invasion, actually, is kind of the goal here. In the meantime, of course, we are just working on eliminating Maya. Okay. It's going to be a bit of island hopping over here, though. Yeah, this is a unit of infantry, and they are uh, startlingly close. We'll see where these guys decide to walk. Actually, we got it. Just in time. Ineffective missionary work. How rude. Okay, we're going to invade St. Thomas next. Inca is up here as well. This is fine, though. We definitely want to make sure we have a leader over here. This guy will do. We have a pretty decent tech advantage over, over the Inca. And actually, we probably want to come help out with this battle that's brewing. Chelm. Okay. No problem there. Yeah, the clergy are losing power. As expected. Did they stack wipe that instantly? I think they probably did. We'll get a crossing penalty maybe, but we have four maneuver. What is their general's maneuver? One. Okay. Six shock though. Well, we have six shock and our fire phases will be better. So that's not a big concern. Okay, we're invading Maya over here. And once this, uh, once this other army gets freed up and this army gets built, we'll be doing much better. We should probably recruit ourselves another leader at some point soon. Okay, we occupied St. Thomas. Next up, to Borokin. And yeah, we're just absolutely crushing them with our with our tech and morale advantages. No concerns whatsoever there. Wonderful. We're still waiting on some cannon and cavalry and infantry over here. We did have some Bosnian separatists. We'll take those out. How long on our cores? We are most of the way done. Wonderful. I want you to come in and take out this force. And I am going to let those combine together and then roll up another general here. Solid. Very solid. Wonderful. We'll convert. Frankfurt. Fine. Is this a stack wipe? That was a stack wipe. I like it. Poor, poor Inca. They never had a chance. Institutions OP. And luckily, since I did the uh, Sun God achievement, I didn't do that. that. That was before I started the channel back up. 
so I didn't do that on camera. But I have the Sun God achievement for basically ruling the Americas as Inca. And the trick to doing that is to grab institutions from the Europeans, and when they inevitably attack you, just fight attrition wars in these mountains. They can't keep it up. And you'll notice, we're not fighting attrition wars in the mountains. <laughs> That's uh, not a thing that we are currently doing. We're still waiting on a unit of cavalry here. It'll be fielded on 4 December, so we'll wait on that. Okay. We've definitely turned this around over here. Let's check in on the Maya situation. Okay, looks good. We've cored over here. We're going to send these guys back to their garrison point. And then turn our attention back to the Colonial War. Okay, our army is done. These guys are not yet locked in. We're going to allow this force to lock in. And now we're going to go. Excellent. Hmm, 50 dip power? Okay, that's irrelevant. They split up their force. One of them was locked in, the other was not. I don't blame them. I would have done the same thing, except I would have started this one walking away immediately. Without a leader there, they're likely to get caught in para. And now they just don't have any ability to fight this war anymore. We're still a little ways away from landing on the main Mayan island. Like, at this point, our colonial nation is spanking them, so... That's a bit of a thing. Yeah, Inca isn't too into this at this point. They have very impressively sized armies, but their... Their miltech, their morale, it just isn't there. They can't keep up with this sort of a late game force. Stack wiped again. We're going to push in over this way. Oh, hello. That's obnoxious. It is taking us a very long time to land over here. English separatists in Perth. Okay, we'll deal with those. Done. And separatists over here. Done. Fantastic. We're going to push down this direction. Where are these guys going? They're running away. I don't blame them. We're currently only at 2% war score. We have still not managed to land over here. That took so long to land. Okay. <laughs> it's just bonkers how long that took. Our other colonial nation is turning up now. They have rebels. That's annoying. But not the end of the world. Like, realistically, Inca can't deal with the... The, uh... What is this? The first and the third colonial? This one's the third colonial, for sure. But this one up here is the uh, first colonial, so they can't deal with the second and third. Really? That's bold. We're going to split off two units of infantry. And then we're going to intercept them. And then these two units are going to move up right now. There we go. This war will be over very, very soon. We're just going to continue pushing through Maya. We don't care about Terrasen. They are entirely irrelevant. Okay, here's some Inca troops. We're just going to allow our army to group back up. Okay. They're going to be locked in quite soon. Separatists over here. We'll deal with those. Done. We can grab an idea... Improve relations amount. That would allow us to start annexing over here. I'm going to do it and then regret it later because of our admin power. Okay, we're going to allow these guys to lock in. They are partially locked in, so we are going to fight them. 
This is a lot of enemies. We have a very strong numerical disadvantage here. But we have a fantastic leader. They have the defensive advantage, but we have a fantastic leader and our morale is just so much better. They have no chance. Especially with our allied troops joining us there. I mean, these numbers are hard to overcome. There's no doubt about that. That's a lot of cores. These numbers are very hard to overcome, but they're retreating and we won. We're going to push up this direction. Continue pushing through Maya. And it looks like our vassals are actually going to defend these rebel territories for us. Which is very nice of them. They didn't have to do that. Okay, we're going to take this and attack these guys straight into Sao Vicente there. Wonderful. We are going to continue pushing through this region over here. Yep. Absolutely no contest. Our war score amounts are currently pretty paltry. There's no, I, no doubt about that. Inca is really quite big geographically, so that's what's going on there. But Inca's ability to fight this off is not very huge. Their manpower is only 25k right now. They cannot sustain this. They're going to be dipping into mercenaries pretty soon. And once that happens, their fate is sealed. They don't really have a way to succeed this. Okay, we are going to take in to take Maya's capital, but not immediately. We're going to head up over this way. Polish revolutionaries are crossing our borders over here, but they're fighting below zero and they're going to lose. We're okay with that. And we're just going to occupy territory over here. We're mostly kind of chilling with this army. We have lost quite a lot of troops over here. And we'll just shift troops downward. Like so. We occupy Tortuga. Wonderful. Hello, Maya. We're going to pop a leader over here, and it's going to be this one. Two-star general. What is our Miltech? 19? Oh, this is not a problem. We don't need a numerical advantage to fight them. We just happen to have one. Lose five prestige. Yeah, that's fine. Just demolished. They never had a chance. We didn't stack wipe them, although they will get stack wiped by Ethiopian West Indies, which I'm okay with. We're going to continue pushing over this way. And yep, there they go. Stack wiped. What's our war score versus Maya? 49% right now. Okay. What are we actually looking for from Maya? Vassalization? We can't do that. So I guess we're just looking for some territory from them. Like grab away these random islands. And maybe like a toehold on their main island. Like that. They must have a lot of development on these islands. 9. 19. 29. 10, 17, 20? Yeah, that's quite a bit. Okay. Interesting. Now, most of this will go to our colonial nation, if not all of it, which I'm realistically okay with. That means we don't have to core it. As far as fighting Inca goes, most of this will go to our colonial nations as well, but I just want to kind of grab a bunch of territory down over this way, because this is all colonial territory, this is low development, and so we can grab quite a lot of land. But that's kind of our overall goal. Maybe instead of going for these two, we go for this one and kind of like that. Mm. It's not a great line anyway. We we slice it unless we do that. And then maybe we could grab, say, that instead. Yeah, that's a better border. Okay. I like it. Now, as far as these guys go, 
We have rebels over here. We actually already have a colonial nation over here helping. Ethiopian Cascadia. Oh yeah, I forgot that they existed. Hi, Ethiopian Cascadia. <laughs> they, uh, they don't have any actual ships because they aren't coastal. So we, mo we mostly don't see them. Now, Terrascan, I'd kind of like to vassalize them, but that's not an option. I think we'll just white piece them. Not too interested in them. Okay, we lost a military leader, and it was this military leader. We're going to roll up a new one. Okay, not quite as good, but he'll do. We're going to attack over here. Lose 57,000 ducats for 5% army professionalism? Uh, no. We'll punish the perpetrators. We'll attack Jamaica. We'll need to come take these back most likely from the rebels. Mongol separatists? Oh, this is in our vassal. We can actually get there through some miracle. Okay, we'll do so. Fine. We'll continue to convert. And continue to just spank the uh, Inca over here. They have huge numbers advantages. To the point where we may want to actually retreat this army. Yes. We'll retreat that army. Their numbers advantage was just too much. Maya is offering us peace. We want peace on our own terms with Maya, so we will not accept that. And the reason I backed this force off is because if I didn't retreat it, we were in danger of getting stack wiped. And I would prefer not to get stack wiped. Thank you very much. We're going to continue to push up through Inca. Once we get Maya taken care of over here, then uh, we should be in a pretty good position to just focus on Inca. Maya would not currently accept this. Negative 75 reasons. Fair enough. So we'll just reinforce this army quickly enough. And we'll be able to send a third army down over this way to reinforce this. This army is attacking up over here, and uh, actually, let's just send the first colonial down, I think. So we'll have the first colonial come over here. We can grab a dip tech here, and I think we will. There we go. We can start annexing Bilu Zero. Do we have to be out of war for this? I think we do. Yeah, we do. That's fine. Austrian Separatists? How rude. Send our Carpathian army to deal with it. No problem. Maya wants peace. You don't say. So Maya, do you want peace on our terms? You'd accept that. They're actually really close. 23 reasons. Interesting. Okay, we're going to push down over this way. I want to avoid combat in these mountains, but I'm okay with walking through them. Especially since we know that their armies are all down here. Okay, we have more rebels spawning. We will deal with those. And in the meantime, we'll continue working on Inca. Let's check in on their manpower situation. Okay, they're not murked up. They have 27k right now in terms of manpower. Sounds good. Inca's occupying regions. That is expected. We're going to send this force southward, supported by this force. We just need additional numbers down over here is what we need. I mean, if we have to, we can send in one of our million other armies. <laughs> That's always an option. We're nearly maxed out on our manpower, so that's not a concern. Hey, Maya. 
Are you willing to accept this yet? There are 47 reasons not to. Interesting. I was hoping that our... Uh, actually, we can tell Ethiopian West Indies to come take these. So let's tell Ethiopian West Indies to grab these regions. Like so. Go grab that. Hopefully now they will. Maya still want peace. We're going to send this force to attack this 25k. We're going to send our main force here, though, to intercept their main force. Like so. We're going to split them up. Oh, and Ethiopian Brazil is actually joining us on this. I like it. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up this war. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.